Hello everybody, in this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $97,268.82. In the past year, I am up $35,989.41. Year to date for the year 2024 so far, I am up $10,072.36. Today, it was really flat overall. During the day, I lost $640.03, and then after hours, I am up $621.98, so not a lot of movement overall. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $200 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return, $675. I'm selling Disney $130 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return $153. I'm selling Robinhood $16 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return $96. I'm selling LUV $30 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return $650. I'm selling PayPal $65 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return $312. I'm selling SoFi $10 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return $1,260. I'm selling Verizon $39 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return $76. I'm selling Google $180 covered calls. These expire July 19. Total return $186. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $187.74. My average cost, $98.95. Total return, $26,640.97. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.04. My average cost, $5.62. Total return, $8,500.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $105.48. My average cost, $60. Total return, $13,644. I have 1,000 shares of Robinhood. Robinhood is at $18.61. My average cost, $17.53. Total return, $1,085. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $169.24. My average cost, $142.48. Total return, $2,676. I have 500 shares of Southwest Airlines. Southwest Airlines is at $27.18. My average cost, $28.03. Total return, I am down $425. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $63.77. My average cost, $57.70. Total return, $1,214. I have 200 shares of Verizon. Verizon is at $39.43. My average cost, $39.31. Total return, $24.10. This is a margin account. My margin total is $110,283.45. My margin used is $97,876.43, which leaves me with $12,407.02 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. 
My buffer is $47,217.52. That's this green buffer right here before I hit my margin call. My annual interest rate is 8%. The daily interest that I'm paying is $21.53. I guess the big news today was Robinhood reporting their earnings. If we go to Robinhood, I believe it was pretty good. As you can see, after hours, they are up over 4%. I think they reported after hours today. The estimated was five cents per share and the actual was 18 cents per share. Here's an article from Yahoo Finance and it says Robinhood tops estimates as crypto revenue more than triples. Robinhood Markets posted its second straight quarterly profit Wednesday as higher interest rates and cryptocurrency trading fuel revenue growth. Net income for the first quarter totaled $157 million, or $0.18 cents a share, beating the $0.06 cent average estimate of analysts surveyed by Bloomberg. That compares with a loss of $511 million, or $0.57 cents a year earlier. That's a huge difference. I mean, a year earlier, they were losing $511 million, and they turned that around to actually having a net income of 157 million. So they really turned things around compared to last year. We delivered significant revenue growth and margin expansion. Chief Financial Officer Jason Warnick said in a statement, we set records for quarterly revenues, net income and earnings per share, even as we stepped up our marketing and growth investments. Net revenue climbed 40% to $618 million, fueled by increased transaction-based revenue and higher short-term interest rates, according to the statement. Revenue from cryptocurrencies surged 232% to $126 million. So as you can see, there was a huge jump in the revenue from cryptocurrencies. Shares of Robinhood advanced 6.5% to $19.01 in extended trading at 4.43 p.m. in New York. The stock had surged 40% this year through the close of regular trading. Earlier this week, Robinhood said it received a so-called Wells Notice from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission warning that the firm faces an enforcement action over its crypto business. The regulator has argued that most tokens are subject to SEC rules and that platforms where they trade should be registered with the agency. Robinhood said it was disappointed with the move and that it believes the assets listed on its platform aren't securities. More than 1 million Robinhood customers have joined a waitlist for a 3% cashback credit card that was announced in March, the company said in the statement. That includes me. I'm on the waitlist for this 3% cashback credit card. And I'm looking forward to getting it. And it looks like that's the end. So yeah, it looks like the biggest news from this is the fact that they really turned things around in terms of revenue compared to a year ago and cryptocurrency revenue jumped 232%. That's a huge jump right there. So yeah, people are reacting positively to this. That's why Robinhood is up after hours today. Up 4% today after hours. Now, since Robinhood is not a giant part of my portfolio, it didn't have that big of an effect. But at least it went a little bit green after hours, and I have Robinhood to thank for that. But other than that, there's really nothing else to report. I haven't made any new changes to my positions that are the same as before. If I do change them, I'll let you guys know. What I'm thinking is changing the strike price of my Disney covered calls Right now, the strike price is $130. I'm thinking of changing that to $120. I'll let you guys know in a future update what changes I make. But for now, that's pretty much it for this portfolio update. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.